you're the go. What's up, YouTube? It's Gabriel Polo Joe back at it again with another video. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys my settings today and the uh, sights and everything that I use for guns and uh, my normal gameplay and also in rank. So, as you can see, it's only week two of the battle pass and uh, of season five. So, the season's still fairly new. And uh, I was a Pathfinder main, but they nerfed them, so I don't use them anymore. But I had almost 13,000 kills with them. And as you can see, I have the animated master badge because I was master both uh, splits last season and the season before that I made it to Predator on both Xbox and PS4. So yeah, I'm going to go through my settings, um, which is the same for both systems. But also, I'm a caustic main now and I'm already at 91 wins for the season and 1,000 kills for the season with them. Uh, not the greatest, but still, I feel like it's good. But I think I'm like top 20 with him on uh, PS4 as of today. And uh, hopefully I can keep grinding to be uh, even better than that. And uh, also, I'm at like a 3.7 KD right now, something like that. Uh, but I don't like to look at that stuff until like towards the end of the season. Uh, and hopefully see what I can improve on for the next season. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, let's get right into it. My settings are actually fairly normal, and I use a regular PS4 controller, and if I play on my Xbox, I use a regular Xbox controller. I don't have the uh, back paddles or anything like that. All of my gameplay settings are pretty standard. Stacking and all that. I have my auto sprint turned off. It just feels better to me, even though sometimes it messes me up, but I just like having the auto sprint off. It's just um, what I'm used to now. And uh, I'm still thinking about doing this colorblind mode, but as of right now, I have it off. The colorblind mode, I feel like helps a lot. Um, I've been switching on and off between it to see which one I like better. But as of right now, I'm using it off right now for this video. My controller settings. My button layout and stick layout are default, yes. I play everything normal. I don't do anything out of the ordinary. I don't play on the southpaw or anything else. So everything that I use is normal. My button lays out, layout is also on default. I see a lot of people using Evolved and uh, a lot of other things. And some people customize their own. But I have everything default. It's just what I've used since day one. So it's like I don't want to train my brain to do something else even though it could be better. Just simply because I want to get better at what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And even with um, this button layout, you're still able to crouch spam. You're still able to uh, do everything as you would normally do it in any of the other um, settings. It's just I practice how I use the regular default thing. Aim is on toggle. Crouch is on toggle. I tried it on hold. I mean, that's on hold. Aim is on hold. Crouch is on toggle. I tried it on hold, but it just wasn't me. Dead zones are on moderate, menu cursor speed, pretty low. I think I have it higher than this on my Xbox. But my look sensitivity. I have everything on four, aim down sight on four also. And I have the per optic on. And I put every single optic on four also. So four says high, but it's not really high at all. At least not to me. Maybe some people would think that's high, but I feel like it's just uh, right for me. And uh, I feel like I can get some precise aim and not do anything too crazy. Because I've tried it one time with my settings all the way up just to try it. And man, that was awful. So four just feels right for me. And uh, I have four on all my optics also. Response curve, classic, look dead zones. I have none on that. Movement dead zone, small. I do not play inverted. And I actually have my vibrations on. So the only reason I have my vibrations on is just because um, I never really pay attention um, to when I get shot unless my controller vibrates. Then that's when I react very quickly and uh, you see me sometimes turn on people because I just as soon as I get shot I see where the red arrow is pointing and I immediately turn to that direction. But I use my vibration for that. If, uh, if I don't get shot at or if I don't hear footsteps then I'm just focusing on me and uh, either looking for somebody or looting. So 
my vibration lets me know if someone's around if they're shooting me and advanced look controls I have that turned off I see a lot of people using um the advanced look controls but I haven't messed around with that yet all right let's get right into it the guns I use let's start I guess right here I thought this was um shotguns but I guess not light guns so for any small pistols like the RE or the uh, P20 the optic I use is the uh, hammer points it just feels I mean not hammer points but the uh, gold one it just feels right it feels like you know normal 301 I use a 2x always always a 2x always one to two it works also unless I can find a 2x but also a 1x you know never goes wrong with the 1x now the 99 the 99 I used to use the 2x but now I find it more comfortable to use a 1x or no sight at all but a lot of times I just use no sight at all because I have the battle pass skin for it which is amazing it's like a pay to win sight and uh, this one red dot is just so clean and so smooth that um, you don't need a sight for it at all and I feel like I do better and laser people one clip without um, any optics on it way better than I can with a 2x or a um, 1x alternator alternator I usually put a 1x on or I use no sight on that as well also I do run the um, digital thread on it also and I will run the digital thread on the 99 also just in case it depends on who I have on my team if I have a bangle on my team then I will run the digital thread uh, G7 that's a different beast G7 I usually run the 3x Ranger or the 2 to, 2 to 4 and I mainly choose the 2 to 4 just because it feels normal to me it just feels better I used to run the 3x a lot but the 2 to 4 just feels so much better to me for the uh, snipers I know this isn't a sniper anymore but it pretty much is one moving along all right the wingman a lot of people use the uh, 1x for the wingman which is good don't get me wrong but and I know a lot of people that use the um, digital threat for the wingman also which is also good especially if you're playing with a caustic or a um, Bangalore on your team but I find it a lot easier just to use the regular iron sights I don't know why that is, but the iron sights just feel so much better to me than a regular 1x or a um, digital threat. And the iron sights are just so clean to me. They have one circle and just a red dot in the center. And you can um, aim pretty good with it, I feel like. You can aim fairly easy. If you haven't tried the uh, wingman with no sight, especially with the legendary um, guns, you should try it out. Spitfire. Spitfire, I will never use the iron sights on these unless I first pick it up because I hate the iron sights. They have this big circle around and a half circle and then there's the red dot. It's just too much stuff in the way and then with the um, fire that you see coming out of it, it just, you can't really see what you're aiming at. So for the Spitfire, of course, 1x or 2x. Any sight will work for the Spitfire, but I prefer the um, 2x on it just because it's better. Prowler, for me, 2x all the way. And for those who didn't know, the uh, burst prowler kills faster than the select fire prowler. And you can also kill them in one clip. Kills a lot faster than the select fire prowler, but it's just harder to control. But if you know how to control it, it's good. You only need 15 bullets to take out a full purple shield. But with the select fire, it's a little bit harder to control. Well, not harder, it's easier to control but it has a slower kill time and the uh, recoil is different so it just feels like you need more to kill but I usually use a 2x or a 1x on that and the reason I use 2x is a lot and I use a 2x for both of these guns also the flat line and the uh, hemlock and the reason I use the 2x a lot and usually more than the 1x is because uh, my vision isn't the greatest so uh, it just helps me see better from a longer range because uh, I'm pretty blind I feel like and uh, the 2x is pretty much a 1x for me and uh, if you haven't tried already try the single fire flatline it is a, a beast and you can if you tap it fast enough you can uh, shoot fairly fairly quickly so if you haven't tried that try it out 
Also, Flatline is like one of my favorite guns right now. But besides, of course, the um, Havoc, which they claim they nerfed, but doesn't seem to uh, have changed at all. Flatline is a great gun, 99. Flatline 99 is like a go-to loadout that I use. Snipers. I don't even use the Sentinel. I've uh, seen people use it and do great with it. It's just not me. But for all the snipers, I use a uh, 2 to 4. And yes, that means even the charge rifle. Charge rifle is a great gun. If you haven't already checked out my video with the free RP, uh, try it out in ranked. It's a great gun. People hate on it a lot. But it's, of course, a laser beam. Two headshots will instantly down someone. 116 and then 90 to the body. And um, yeah, try it with the 2 to 4. I do not. A lot of people use the 4 to 8. But as you can see, once you aim down sights, a lot of your screen is uh, blocked off. So you can't see anyone coming to your left or your right. You can only just go off uh, audio. What the charge rifle is a loud gun, so the audio won't be that clear. But with the 2 to 4, it's almost the same. Um, you can see see good enough. I'm blind. If I can see with the 2 to 4 from uh, halfway across the map, anybody should be able to see with the 2 to 4 halfway across the map. You do not need the 4 to 8. Blocks too much of your vision. And the uh, 2 to 4 is just a lot cleaner. You can still do the same job as the 4 to 8. But 2 to 4 is what I use for all the sniper rifles. And Havoc also 2x, or I use a 1x, or I use no sights also. They claim they nerfed the Havoc and gave it more recoil, but I just can't believe it because it, it's still an absolute laser beam. L Star, I absolutely hate this gun. Probably the worst gun to me. Uh, the recoil is so awkward, it like shoots left and right. And. Yeah, I just hate this gun, but for this gun, I usually use any sight because I hate the iron sights. It doesn't seem like it would be bad because of the hollow, but you can't really see where your bullets are going. So, with this gun, I just find any sight that I first find and I just shoot with it. But, a 2x would probably be the uh, most comfortable that I use with it. These guns already have sights, and uh, they're all beast guns. And I did not know they put the shotguns over here now. But for the Mozambique, well, for all the shotguns, actually, I usually run a digital threat. Just feels good, feels right, and that's just what I use for it. And, yeah, let me look at my settings again and make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, nope. Those are the, oh, yeah, field of view. Field of view I have at 106. It just feels, uh great sprint view shape uh don't i don't mess with that i don't even know what it is so yeah field of view is at 106 it just feels good for some reason when your field of view is higher it just feels like you're moving faster and it feels like you're moving moving smoother and with the uh my controller being regular settings you can still crouch spam you can still do all that it's just a little bit harder but once you get some practice in you'll still be able to do it and you'll be able to control your recoil also and um You'll still be able to do a whole lot of other movement tactics. You just got to practice with it. So instead of um, changing my uh, tactics, I just practice um, what I've been working with my whole life and uh, try to perfect it. Still not perfect at it, but I have gotten Master and Predator with it. So something's working, I guess. And yeah, these are my settings and uh, optics I use on each and every gun. Also for ranked... I don't use uh, a lot of guns. I mainly use the Havoc. I mainly use the R99, G7 sometimes. Charge rifle, I will use religiously. Prowler select fire, if I can find the attachments, I usually don't bother trying to look for it unless I kill somebody with it. And yeah, Flatline 99, Havoc 99, G7 99. And a lot of times I will run hammer points also. But the P20 hammer points because I feel like you have more options and uh, more bullets to shoot, more opportunities to knock somebody and it still kills fast because you can spam the P20 on a downed opponent and uh, get the kill easily. So yeah, hopefully you guys uh, can uh, use these tips and uh, if you do decide to use these settings, hopefully you uh, do good with them in practice. But remember, 
the settings are your personal preference so these are my settings and my personal preferences and this is what I've been practicing with since uh, the day one or since I've started playing Apex Legends so find out what works for you and uh, try your best at it and uh, hopefully you perfect it and hopefully you get better maybe you'll be the next Apex Predator or next Master Rank and yeah so I hope you have a good one good luck to you